so in this video and uh, upcoming future videos we are going to see what odata is which uh, stands for open data protocol and uh, along with that we will also see how we can create these odata services in the sap and many more things for starting what odata is it's uh, it's very old stuff but it still present it's widely used when you mainly work with uh, any of the web technologies so many great uh, stuff is already available over the internet on the youtube and uh, sap blog post as well sap scn but since we are starting this series so just thought of sharing what exactly this odata stands for what it is why odata what are the benefits of odata and uh, how we use this in uh, sap environment what odata is it's a open data protocol and uh, it stands for open data protocol and mainly used in the web technologies it's a uh, odata is not a data but it's a standard web protocol which is used for querying changing the data updating the data which is available in your data source and uh, the data source can be anything for example it could be sap data or it could be sql server data or it could be any other data source now this o data why o data is uh, popular it's because it's a it is a standard and uh, which defines a set of best practices for building and consuming the restful apis when you create uh, a o data service o data based service in sap it defines a standard set of best practice when when you and uh, there are different uh, options are also available a standard options available for querying the data and those option works out of the box you no need to write anything to use those options so those are kind of standards and uh, best practices the very important thing about the o data is it's based on the http framework it uses either http or http protocol to to access the data onto the different data sources now what uh, the benefit of o data why why o data the very first benefit is it uses http framework and uh, why http or https framework is so much important is because the o data relies on the rest and uh, which uses http and https protocol for the connections when whenever you are trying to connect any system to fetch the data using an o data standard then it uses http and http protocol for the connection rather than using a normal connection like tcp connection is another kind of connection which you can connect different system to transfer the data right that's another kind of protocol so o data is not a connection based protocol if you are using a tcp or some other protocol it would be a connection based protocol so what o data is it's a package based protocol what is the difference now in these two things what is a connection based protocol and what is a package based protocol and uh, how the package based protocol is better than the connection based protocol to answer that question is if we talk about the connection based protocol whenever you connect to a system the connection should be there between your client and your server and in between if the connection breaks it is it is hard or it is tedious to maintain those kind of connections between the systems for the communication right and if you talk about the package based protocol which means you send the packages when you want data from the server it is not like the connection is always open with the server between the server and client and then you are sending the data and then you are receiving the response from the server it is request based package based protocol means whenever you need a data from the server you send a stateless request to the server and server responds to the client what stateless request means 
once the request is gone it is nowhere available it is done now when the when server is responding to the client so it's a stateless request means a client has requested and it forgot then server gets the request it process and it responds to the client so in between this the connection is not there once the request is gone it is gone once the response is received it is received the main benefit of this package based protocol is in between if the connection breaks with the server we do not care if we haven't sent any request to the server during that time frame if the connection is even breaks we have already sent the request we have already received a response right but what happens in the connection based protocol if the connection breaks you need to maintain that connection the another benefit of using this package based protocol or o data is uh, these are always allowed means it based on the http and https standard protocol which works across your firewalls or across your proxies right you just need to whitelist it in your proxy or in your firewall but if you are using tcp ip connection or connection based protocol then those are most probably will be blocked by your proxies for example if you have a sql server installed on your organization right it will always be behind the firewall and uh, if you try to connect it it will be blocked if you use the tcp ip connection to connect to your data source behind the firewall but in case of o data since it is http and https standard protocol been used it works across the firewalls as well and the proxies as well another benefit of using o data protocol is server will not have so many open connections so in case if you are using a connection based protocol to access the data then the number of request you sent to the server those many connection will be open right and they will be open they will they will always be there until and unless the response is not been sent from the server but this is not true in case of package based protocols the connection is only open for the time when the request is sent and the response is received so your server is in the meantime your server is busy handling your other request you will get the performance improvement if you use the package based protocol or o data for example another most important benefit of using o data is uh, you have different query options directly available those are all standard options available for example if you want to select anything right if you want to select the top records if you want to apply the order by so you can directly run these queries these are not actual sql queries but these are the replication of the your sql queries and the benefit here is you can run these queries directly using the url you can put these things directly in the url to fetch the data which is you are interested in for example if you want to select if you want to expand anything if you want to fetch the child and parent relationship data you can use expand there or in other words expand is just like a join joining multiple tables you can directly use in the url you can if you want to use for example 100 fields are there in your table and you want to only fetch five fields you can use select direct in the url so it's like a query language in your url available through the o data these are the most important some of the benefits of o data why it is popular and why companies are moving towards the o data for making their data source available outside the world now let's talk in connection with the sap how this o data can be used in the sap environment or how we can access the sap data outside using the o data protocol we have a netweer gateway available which helps us to connect with the backend system and uh, to return the data using o data protocol 
and uh, the data could be in your XML format, your uh, JSON format, which is very lightweight, and uh, the request and response are very fast in this case. Gateway is nothing but uh, it's a technology which is acting like a medium for outside world to connect with the SAP and transfer data to and from the SAP system and uh, the transaction which we use if uh, a NetWear is installed in your environment NetWear gateway then you will see a transaction code SEGW to to create your gateway services and do everything whatever you need in upcoming videos we will be seeing how we can use the o data in ui5 applications and uh, what are all different options available to us how we can create the o data service and what are all options available inside the o data service how we can consume it what are all different things we can do in SAGW transaction so that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you